You got the chalice of Saint Stephen. Stefan. Now what? We got the gear, right? Iron gear, there's a metal gear, I think. I guess we just leave. We have to go to the police station now. Oh wait, no, there's that sad stuff here. Where does this go? I have not thoroughly explored around here. Von Goth residence. That name sounds familiar. I might have to get in there. Or wait, no, that's where I was on the top floor there. Where that guy was in the bathroom waiting for me. leave you guys there. This also looks like a warehouse. question. Maybe you'll find out another day. <sighs> what I saw is some coins on the ground. I'm imagining things. Is this the prison? It might be. But I'd like to check. This feels like... There could be something hidden back here. Open or just no ways in. I just like to be thorough. Does not seem like it. So I think I'm going like here, down these two paths. Yeah, then those two. Or where I just was. Hmm. 
Kind of like this. Just like this little staircase leading into like apartments or something. Not cool. Chalmers, that's the chief of security. They said they made his door unpickable. If I recall mm. correctly. Is there another way? Get up there, you think. This must be the station. So we gotta save a guy from here. And maybe there's some illegal stuff inside here too that we can like plant on that guy. Like an evidence box or something, I don't know. What's that noise? You're under arrest, Topper! Uh oh. Oh no. You've had it! Please don't hurt me. Pretty uh, intense when you only have the one shield. Although uh, at the same time, it's not that much different. It's just you can't risk taking any sort of hit at all. I suppose. Hey, maybe I can find uh, enough goodies. It won't be a problem anymore. Prison key. Booze hidden underneath the table, desk. Detective Pike, this report on the Black Rose Bank incident. The robbers gained entry by cutting through the wall between the banker's basement and the sewer. This occurred exactly at dawn, so the time-locked vault door could be opened. The one bank employee present was neutralized with sleep gas. Since the breach was made in the camera control room, the thieves could disable the cameras and operate with no danger of alarms. It looks like they tried to destroy the cameras for good, but failed. They managed to break off the control switches, but now the cameras are locked on and can't be shut off at all anymore. In my opinion, this was an inside job. It's no coincidence that the robbers cut their way into the basement's camera control room. Also, their timing was perfect, since the vault can't be opened until dawn. Since the bank personnel are under suspicion, I've assigned several officers to patrol the bank at night until our investigation is completed. Additional notes. Electric drills were used, possibly a mechanist involved. They knew exactly where to cut the sewer wall. A friend in City Public Works provided maps. Check the tellers and security guards. Ugh. See if one starts spending more than he should. Det 
detective. Like... More toilets. There's more guards in here. Where are they out and about? And I've taken them all out. Money. A boot. That's funny. Uh, okay. It was saving. Let the game crash for a second. Prison key must only work on actual prison, which I think is downstairs, if I had to guess. beloved Woodsy Lord is going to help you now? You're kind of caused enough trouble around here. We're gonna put a stop to it. Man fool, he amps the oaks and leaves, and he will feed us on you. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy watching you burn. <clears throat> Oops. You ever heard of armor, Tapper? That's the best you can- <clears throat> <laughs> I didn't know you had a helmet on. You think your beloved Woodsy Lord is going to help you now? You're kind of caused enough trouble around here. We're gonna put a stop to it. Man fool, he amps the oaks and leaves, and he will feed us on you. Yeah, I'm gonna enjoy watching. Oh. Oh. Can't have a prison without a torture chamber. Prison key work on these two? It sure does. Are you my man? Regan, you are. This day. Okay. Guess he's just gonna run off. Nothing else hidden, <clears throat> hidden around here. Someone's moaning, but there's nobody here to moan. There's no, like, I was really thinking there'd be, like, an evidence box or something that would have, like, an illegal item. Otherwise, so far, I still don't know what... Plant something illegal. Like, what would that be? Huh? Unless there's something in one of the vaults. Where'd that temper go? Come out 
here. Uh, uh, for, uh, Yeah, unless there's something in one of the vaults that's illegal. Is this a place I can go? No? Edwin G. Smythe, attorney at law. Smythe was a name of somebody. Might have a key. That or I thought it was... Oh. He was definitely... His name was listed on a thing. He's got a crystal ball thing here, too. Hmm. This looks interesting. The life and death of St. Stefan of Cinderfell is one of the Hammerite Imperium's most controversial figures. He was a powerful hammer mage with the gift of prophecy and his love of puzzles and riddles. His critics whispered that his magical skills came from pagan texts. Due to these rumors, Stefan was arrested and put on trial. As the evidence mounted against him, the procurator general assured Stefan, Stefan that his execution was inevitable. Stefan coolly replied, Our deaths are both at hand, yet yours will find you the sooner. This was proved true, for in that hour the cathedral was attacked by a group of pagans led by a sorcerer. All Hamrites present were needed to meet the assault. The battle went poorly. The pagans carried an evil artifact which allowed them to reanimate their dead to continue fighting. With Stefan's pagan magics, he killed the sorcerer, took up the artifact and, artifact and reanimated the Hamrite dead. Thus, the pagans were defeated. As predicted, both Stefan and the procurator general died in the fighting. The undead hammers were shut away in the crypts, while the pagan artifact, now known as the Eye, was locked in the cathedral vault. Ah, Stefan's body was taken away by his acolytes. It is rumored that the acolytes interred him in a secret tomb that had been built years beforehand. The order declared him Saint Stefan the Redeemed, for giving his life in battle to defeat the pagans. In later years, some historians referred to him as Stefan the Accursed for his defilement of Hamrite corpses with necromancy. A week before his death, Stefan wrote a scroll with three riddles that, according to legend, Hold the key to opening his tomb. These riddles can be found on the following pages. Welcome to Travel of Fire. This is what we read before. On the floor. Oh. Patterns of darkness, patterns of light. Only one path safe. Only one path right. I did not have this. So that's why it felt random, but I guess there was a pattern. In the beginning was void, dark without end. Then came the bright sun and life to begin. Mankind gathered at shining fires to feast. But outside in the night lurked terrible beasts. Then came the builder with his blazing forge and cast out the trickster to his shadowy gorge. So I assume that's like black, white, white, black, whatever. Color to color, follow the lights, and soon you'll reach my tomb. But any poor sod whose timing is off will follow the lights to his doom. So that would have been useful to have. But we figured it out anyway. How I was supposed to know to come here first or anything like that, I could not tell you. Let me turn that light back on. Nothing else in here? I thought maybe that book would be illegal because it's like talking about him being vegan influence or something, but I guess not. I 
intriguing. We gotta get you back to the dairy, which is way out over here. Somehow we gotta get inside that guy's house and up there. This is the church. And it should be straight this way. Or maybe... We might have to go down there, or can I go this way? I think I can go like this. There's like a staircase there that they don't show you. <laughs> Come on, Tragen. You're killing me. Wish I could bunny hop. Yeah, there's a guy up here too. to look around some of these places again. Where was that? This is the bank. Where was that staircase? Illegal glowing mushroom what I'm extract. For. I see. Well, that it just tells me. Okay. Because we're right here. So I must have walked by where that path was. Because it would be. yonder. Why did we come back there? Even if it was accidental. <laughs> Must be through here. Yes, yes. It's all coming together. Tragen's back in his bed. Albeit backwards. Crates. Might be useful. I'm here. Let's do this. There's crates in his house that I may be able to use to get places, but for now, let's just go put this illegal stuff in the warehouse since it's right over here. I don't think we have any other reason to go back here, do we? No, we need a code to get into the basement. Which is probably in his safety deposit box or something like that, if I had to guess. I don't know. Want something illegal? Still don't know the code.
Did I ever go up there? did not This guy, because the only kind of sense like he's right here. Oh shit! Oh, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> we'll find you soon enough. Is this, it's Ramirez? Oh. I thought I looked like him, but I didn't think it was actually Ramirez. This is an outrage. My account at the Black Rose Bank has been looted. Sleep gas was used. This must be the work of that upstart Duvall. That banker Von Goeth disappeared the day of the robbery. Less than a month ago, he was giving me trouble about direct bound revenues. So I sent some of the boys to give him a good talking to you. And now he just vanishes the day I get robbed? If some soft money changer thinks he can outwit Ramirez, he will soon know better. I'm sure he was working with Duvall's crew of Jack Jackopolades. I must find them both. Lady Katrina swears she knows nothing of this, but I'm not so sure. Van Goeth worked closely with Moncton at the bank. We'd better send Jacko over to Moncton's apartment to loosen his tongue. I'll need to search their office as well. If only the watch wasn't in the bank all night. Teddy, Terror of the Pits, gone but not forgotten. Damn. Teddy. He's one of the uh, pit, pit bears. It had something. It may be time for me to move along now. Oops. Wonder why he says that. It may be time for me to move along now. <gasps> On that specific thing, I wonder why. People have bathtubs and they just keep watering them constantly. So that someone's still out here too. Hmm. 
Ramirez. What's that sound? Who's there? <gasps> Me. Oh, hey. They actually hid one back behind the others. Dice are loaded. Whatever power struggle was going on in Eastport seems to have finished. They pay tribute to this new man Grimheld, and Reuben has agreed to split control of the docks. Soon one or the other will get greedy and will have more blood, possible chance to expand our dealings in new market, while things are in disorder. I wonder at the fate of Webster, bottom of the canal, no doubt. Heard about some new housebreakers in Shalebridge that use sleep gas to put down their guards. My spies say their leader is named Duval, recently arrived from Cyric. He'd like to be called Dagger Duval since he carries knives up his sleeves, but he's been labeled Dandy Duval since he's a handsome fellow and always finely dressed. In any case, they'll either pay tribute to Raputo or face back Ali Justice. And if they stray into South Quarter, my bears are always hungry. It's cozy. This looks like there's a hidden thing somewhere. Eventually. A whip. I'm not even gonna comment. Alrighty. like it could move. <sighs> Otherwise there's really not anything else in here, which is unusual. I think there'd be something. Buttons, no secret buttons. E reds. Maybe not. also they just kind of stand out weird for some reason just based on their texture or something hmm. okay well I guess there's I guess there's nothing in here but the downstairs we didn't miss anything I don't think so
Okay. Okay. We gotta try and get upstairs. Where are we? We're coming through here. We wanna head back towards the church and the police station, I think. someone up there walking <clears throat> basketball interesting that seems highly illegal to me Was I up here before? I think this is lined with metal though. <clears throat> but I've been up there. Yeah. I guess is the question. I could probably get up there again. Is that all metal above the beam? Last time I was able to pull it faster than this. <laughs> and we were up there before. We've been in there before. And I actually questioned if I could get over there, but I gave up trying because I fell. Like that. I wonder if you can actually get there and get something over there. Sometimes it really does not want you to jump. Maybe if we stand uh, on here more. Exactly. Quiet now. What's that I see? Hello. Oh. 
Oh, don't do that. Stuck. Oh, there we go. There's two boots. One boot. Two boot. money and stuff, which is nice, I guess, but... Really hoping I could go somewhere. Healing potion. Doubting you can get on that roof. <sighs> Can't even jump. Maybe you could, but it's not worth it. <sighs> yeah, I, uh, yeah, not worth it. That's all there is up here. Apparently. Well, we healed slightly anyway. Let's just climb down. You can do this without dying. Ah! Nope. Now, this is the front of the church. This warehouse you can't go into. I think this is a fake door, yes. These two things are these, so we're coming this way. side does not wrap around so even if I could get up here I don't think I can get anywhere unless there's a hidden item or something one of these windows nope nope I'm gonna break this crate or I can find another use for it This is the prison. I think it's right here that the guy's house I need to break into lives. But his door is locked, can't be picked, but there's possibly a way. Like if I could get up there. Could I just jump? <sighs> No. Somehow I can get up there.
Is that something right there? What is that? No. But I saw an item. This does not open. I don't know if I need the crate, but I a companion cube right now. There must be like a rope arrow spot or something that I can get onto. I remember reading one of those notes they were talking about someone had like a window you could just climb into with the wooden post shutting out. Maybe that was like something that they fixed or changed or something. This is all metal, that's all metal. If I could get up here into that building, I don't know if it connects there. And there. Is that all the same building? Didn't I do this before? <sighs> this is how I got in in the first place, isn't it? <sighs> what the heck? Why is there a guy just staring at me? kind of spooked me. That's where the first secret was, was up there, though. We've come full circle. So I think this is the same building, but they don't let you sneak through. So... So... What to do? How do I get up here? trying to stay aware of where all the ledges are. From there, maybe? That's also a place. From there? Is this wood? Is that wood? Oh. joy. <clears throat> Another night spent guarding Lord Bloody Gilmore's antique collection. Back when I worked at First City Bank and Trust, I used to say I'd rather the night watch, but here there's almost nobody to talk to. At least Joss is here tonight, but not much for conversation. The guy could count his fingers twice and get the wrong number both times. I swear all he thinks about is food. Half these old things look like junk, but Gilmore's little gang of tomb robbers will soon swoon over them. They call themselves Archaeologists, but bloody tomb robbers is all they are. I wonder why he has just like a little cot in here. Um. Um...
<clears throat> anyway, I did not expect him to walk in here. Dude didn't have anything on his waist, did he? I didn't pay attention. No. There's maybe something out that window. There's also something down Gentlemen, we have guests tonight. My friends from the Lost City Society will arrive after sundown. I sent the cook out on an errand, so make sure the chicken doesn't burn. Dr. Provost from the museum will be here soon. The museum may wish to purchase some of the artifacts from my latest expedition, so I'll need to inspect them. Make sure to let him in right away, and both of you keep an eye on him. Such an eminent scholar as Dr. Provost would never steal from me, but better safe than sorry. this guy provost? Also, I feel like... Unconscious body. I think you would say if it was somebody important. <laughs> Nothing up here? I threw up here at the very beginning. Is this so oh, shit? Oops. Is that you, Kevil? No, it is not me, Kevil. Why can't I? Mantle this. <sighs> Womp. Is it? Uh -huh. Excuse me. So this is that dude's house. So we made it inside. Nothing. 
Put five hooks on the wall and none of them turn and open up a secret door. Aha. Not a secret. That's two secrets we've found. Where... I feel like this is one of the guys that had key, right? Or he had the key to the security locker. The security booth. And I feel like they said they put it in a secure safe. I thought they said. I didn't just pick it up today. Once all that loot. Apartment key, dairy shop key. Sworn they said that in a That was the one about breaking in. Board of Directors inspection of Chalmers residence revealed insufficient security measures once installed concealed safe to protect key upgraded apartment door to be unpickable apartments location with police is a plus so there's a safe somewhere a secret safe even front door is unpickable yeah the key It's not the one we already found. There was no key in there, and that was like a secret. Not a secret part of the mission, but a secret bonus thing, I thought. There was no key in there. Unless I'm mistaken. It's not that one in that closet. <laughs> Where is it? I would think it has something to do with, like, either the bookshelf. Oh! It's exactly where I thought it was, but I couldn't see that book unless you're right on it. Bank security key. I'm still missing one. I'm still missing one of the cogs, though. I'm going to have to go back to the bank anyway to see where the hell who the other person was. Okay, well. 
Maybe we can pull this off. We can turn the cameras off, but it's temporary, I think. They said it resets after like 10 minutes. We're here. We want to go. What was this question mark house? Maybe I should go this way. Maybe that's the place I was just kind of breaking into. Yeah, I think so. Was there anything on the bottom floor? I didn't even check. myself, I think so. Okay. Huh? Tavern. Hub? I think this question mark must have been this guy's house. Yeah, I guess let's just go back to the bank. I'm not sure what else to do or where the other gear would be. Because I put one in and I've got two in my inventory. Right, iron gear and metal gear. So unless one's in that security office, I need to consult the book to recall, hey, who the uh, other director is. Maybe that'll give me a clue on where I was supposed to look. That's the bar. Now I know what that was all about. I could probably walk in the front door. As long as I avoid the security camp. stuff is. Stop looking at me. I think I want to go on this side. Actually, I do want to go in here because this is where they talk about the board of directors, is it? Not? Yeah. The Nassin, we got that one. Smythe. We saw that guy's house. But I didn't think I saw a key in there. He was the guy. I forget exactly where it was. Maybe here? He was like doctor or lawyer Smythe or something. But we found the book about life and death. Avery was the cog or the 
we got a cogwheel or a gear from him already. He was the shipping and receiving guy, and this was the hammerite guy. I think we just have to go back to that smythe guy. Okay. Here's the security door. So let me save. I think that only lasts for a few minutes, but I'm curious what happens. So it gives me an opportunity to look around here again. Don't hit the silent alarm button because it's not so silent. This is the dumb waiter that doesn't work, I guess. During the night. <laughs> yeah, let's try and find that smiley guy again. I remember what it looked like, I just don't remember exactly where that is. It's either that was here, but maybe not. It's not there, maybe it's over here. Yeah, okay, I think that's where it is. We must have missed a like secret chest or safe or something. Yeah. Yeah. Here. <gasps> something smile. It says right there. Edwin Smy, the attorney at law. I guess there's another <laughs> very well in book or a switch. There we go. All right, that's the last one. Now I think we can possibly now, on to the vault. Will the the cameras still be off, or will I have to turn them off again, or how does that work? I don't know. I want to go this way. Good use of the lighting. I always like that when there's like different colors of lighting to like accent the windows. Sometimes there's like a warm light or a white light or just like random like green or purple windows and stuff. Like what's going on there, you know? Like that place up there makes it look kind of creepy. <clears throat> okay. Now I gotta remember where the heck the vault is. And if I can even get down there fast enough. I think it's... Right here. I don't know how much time it's passed. Hmm. Hmm. 
And I guess these are the ones that they said were permanently on. Too much stuff. where they busted in. That's interesting. And they turned these cameras on permanently accidentally. That's funny. Seem like I can even open these other ones. At least I highly doubt I. This is annoyed that there's cameras here that'll lock down the place. Of course. Of course, if it uh, gets the alarm sound, I lose. 23. It's right in the middle. Or 28. I guess it would be on this side. There's no wood. I wish I had my crate. No, it's 20 here right there. Goofy. Wacky. Close. Constantine's sword. The Horn of Quintus. <laughs> okay. See, see, this is my problem. After everything I've done, I still don't have 4,500 loot. I don't even know where to begin with. <gasps> I had this concern as soon as I started the mission when I saw that number was so high. Unless there's something stashed in here. Like I can open this vault or something. But I doubt it. It doesn't seem like it.
pretty close though. So I'm hoping maybe if I do a round real quick, I can find something I missed because I really would like to actually beat the mission. But if it comes down to finding a few coins, I'm not going to wander around forever. I thought I was being pretty thorough too. I know there was masks and things on the walls that I had been kind of not noticing until I walked right past them. <laughs> Maybe there's something like that I can grab and turn the tide a little here. else in here. I don't know if there's actually a timer on these, but I'm going to flip them anyway. If there is a timer, then maybe it'll swap. I still haven't gotten all the way up there. Huh? It turned back on? What the fuck? I just turned it off again. Okay, that's weird. Maybe I accidentally like triggered it to... Seem like they're off again. I have my sword as well. I don't suppose there's any like anything I couldn't bust before because I didn't have a sword. something I missed. Twenty thousand in diamonds doesn't count. I was always uncertain about because there's nothing in here. I don't know. I 
found a diamond. Still not enough. Another secret, though. Dang it, I am close. I may have exhausted the bank, though. like 67 68 ah uh, damn it but where looking for like hidden stuff at this point. I'm gonna climb back up here. Was that weird place? Can I break this? <laughs> Gotta be careful because those things just shoot at you. For example. Constantine Manor, yeah, it kind of is like that, that place back there. <laughs> Great. My good old crate is missing. And hidden out here. where we found our highly illegal mushrooms. This doesn't open. 
this, there was nothing down here, which I thought was kind of strange. But I was assuming it meant that that Duvall guy stole it all. Was that 4482 I'm literally like what is that 18 way I need anything <laughs> Just like right clicking on everything. Alpha Tech, thanks for following. Some crates if we wanted to try climbing up something. Um, a steel crate. Maybe it'll help us get somewhere useful. goodies in here. Hmm. I'll even take coins out of the fountain. So close. Anything. The warehouse. Oh, yeah, there was the warehouse. We never went in the basement of the warehouse. So the code must be in here. Otherwise, I don't know. Must we guess? Either way, there might be something to be missed for loot. Avery. Is there anything that indicates a number? Like the books or something? Or... That was where the gear was. I thought maybe it would be in the bank, like in a deposit box or something, like we'd find the code hidden. I don't have the note anymore, but that guy was asking, maybe I do have that note. No, I don't think so. The guy was asking, he wanted the code because he wanted to know how to get down there because he saw someone go down there. really want to guess the code either. And 
there was nothing at the bank. I just thoroughly searched around there. Did this guy have a house somewhere that I don't remember? Otherwise, I don't know. I might have to just look it up. Because honestly, we've spent almost four hours on this mission. And I've been enjoying it, but... Long-term secure storage, authorized personnel. Only I hear someone down there. Oh, I see what's happening. Hey, Denny. How are you doing? <sighs> I'm struggling to either find a code to a door or any other scraps of money that I can find. <sighs> any lucky numbers? You want me to try? Otherwise, I'm not sure. I might have to look it up. I wouldn't think... I, part of me was almost wondering if it would be, like, written somewhere that you could spot from above. And I've been all over this map. I'm in this tiny corner here. I've been everywhere else. I don't know. Unless this guy has a house somewhere that I'm not remembering. 8268. No. Sign says long term storage. Secure storage authorized personnel only. I've like scoured this map for everything else that I never once came across a code. Hmm. Hey. Open the door. I know you're walking in there. What if they actually open the door? No. I don't think they're going to open the door. And I'm not gonna brute force it. Hmm. <laughs> I'm just trying to think before I try to look it up, where would it possibly even be? The only thing I could think is this guy might have a house somewhere. I don't know. Deep two mission reverse robbery. Uh, the diary? Do I have a diary? 
What do you, which diary are you talking about? Oh, dairy. Is that what you're talking about? There was like a guy who owned like a milk and cheese place that I had to take back to. Yeah, it's pretty small. I don't even necessarily want to know the code. I would just like to know where you find it. Hmm. substance the gear bank security office cube did that complete list of secrets oh so people have actually found all the secrets we found quite a few of them that's not what we're looking for though unless warehouse I'm really not seeing anybody talk about this code either. Oh, this is exciting, exciting stuff. I figured out everything except this apparently. I found all the gears on my own. I found out how to get through everything. But I can't figure out the code. Nineteen ninety nine. Good guess. There has to be, is there like a proper walkthrough somewhere and not just people talking about it? Safety deposit box. Reverse robbery directors cut. That's the download the mission. Am I the only person that has not had this problem? It's quite possible. I don't know. Maybe I'm screwed.
There's got to be something I'm missing. With the highly illegal mushrooms I put in this case. You found a hint? Take a good look around the pub. Or the code to the basement here. Hmm. Because I'm here. Take a hard left. I know there is that pub there. I didn't think I could get inside or anything, but maybe. Maybe there's something. Don't know if it's for real or not. I don't know. It's worth looking around. Because this... This is the pub. I think. Because there's a table so you can hear people in there. Just guy, I think. Drunk guy sleeping down there. This is uh, Chalmers' house. So this is right here now. Statues, barrels. I don't know, you might be telling me about something else too, I'm not sure. There's statues just kind of over the place. Prison slash cop shop. <gasps> Got some guy's boot. on the hint. What does it say? At this point I will gladly accept hints. That's how I got to Chalmers house. This is where I started. 
check the burning bucket near tables. Oh, uh, I think I know what that means. There will used to be a burning bucket here, and these are kind of tail things. This used to be burning. I think there was another one somewhere as well, but... A rat. Oh. Poor guy. Otherwise, I don't know. In the middle of the yard, then that must be the church. Is the only other place I can... recall there being a burning thing. This has been quite the mission. <laughs> I was ready to give up. But out of... Insanity, perhaps. I only need 12... Or wait, 18 gold to win. But I also want to get down inside that... Thing. This is the only other burning bucket that I know about. Unless it considers these tables. There was a fire arrow in there, if I remember right. That's the only other burning bucket or barrel that I remember. This is also a warehouse, but you can't get into it. just don't open but I already went over it and <laughs> grabbed a couple things don't know Are you talking these with the tails? This- oh, what? What? How would I ever find that? Hide him below, code is 4183. How would I ever find that? This is what it's talking about. Okay, well. Okay. So now I have to go west. I would never in a million years have found that. Unless I accidentally was just clicking on stuff. Thank you, Denny. Finally. Now, I assume there will also be money down here. Which will help complete our actual goal, 4183. I'm not sure how I'm supposed to know that. There was nothing hinting. There was one note where the guy was asking what the number was. I don't remember there being ever a note that was like, hey, I was at the pub and destroyed the evidence or something. toilets. Where are 
in this case. These guys are like thieves. Get out of here! <gasps> ah! Ouch. My worst fear is coming true. Take I know you ah. can't hide forever. Can't kill them in this mission. But I have to. I also have somewhere. Organs, my million ah! objects, I have a flashbang. God damn it. Come on. Well, well, well. Look what we got here. Ouch. Come out, come out where you are. <laughs> oh, please. Can I have a third flash finger that I used two? God damn it. <laughs> Sorry, buddy. <laughs> Flash damage unit. Arrow? Arrow? You're going down. <laughs> well, that guy had the worst death of this entire mission. My patience has worn thin. Okay. Is there anything valuable down here, even? Oh, oh, I wonder if these are the guys that broke into the... Broke into the, uh, bank. Because they've got power drills and stuff. Which means... This guy was responsible for, uh... Because he's also on the board of directors or whatever, the bank. There's nothing valuable down here. There's got to be something down here. Wow. Okay, 4522. I feel like I must have found almost every piece of loot on the mission other than maybe secrets. Hello. It seemed like a good idea at the time. I suppose that should be written on my tombstone. They say we'll need to hide down here until Ramirez and the watch stop looking for us, but I'm already going mad. I keep expecting a gang of thugs to burst in here and kill us all, not to mention the constant humming of the machines. Duvall went out to scout around. I'm a little nervous about being left here with these other fellows. I don't think they are happy about my getting a share of the bank loot. I can't wait to get out of the city and on the road. I just realized that when I left my house, I was in such a hurry that I forgot my father's gold pocket watch. It's all I have left of him after the war. I wonder if I could sneak back to my house and get it before I leave town. I'm sure Ramirez will be looking for me there. Maybe the watch, too. I wonder if there w maybe there was a clue in that guy's house that I didn't find. Because now that he says that I'm realizing which house is his. I don't remember even seeing a gold watch, though, either. Maybe I did pick it up in... <coughs> Either way, I don't know. Whatever. We gotta figure it out eventually. not a living soul left in this part of town. They're all unconscious or dead. But we're making it. It's happening. 
Which way do I go? Back to the start. To the place that says start with a big arrow on it. Thought I heard someone else walking, but it's just my own steps. What humble beginnings we had. Yeah, that was quite the mission. Three hours and 22 minutes, but in actuality, it was more like four hours and 22 minutes with us loading and reloading and stuff like that. 15 out of 16 pockets picked, so I missed a pocket. Out of 8,000 loot. Wow. Secrets found 5 out of 24. Damn. I, I have no idea where the rest of that loot would be, unless some of those secrets you find are, like, very valuable, which is possible. And if you don't find at least some of the secrets, I don't even know if you can get the 4,500 loot you need. Because I don't even know where else to look for loot other than looking for secrets. Which some of them are, seem like they're well hidden. Obviously they're pretty well hidden if I only found... What is that? A fifth of them? Roughly. But alright. Reverse robbery. Director's cut. And I'm not sure exactly what's different between this and the original one, but... That's that. <laughs>